And I basically haven't progressed in the past um, five to six hours. My entire life I wanted to become a mom and to find the love of my life and I never knew that at the age of 18 that would all begin. So my dreams have come true. I'm pregnant, I'm starting my journey, and here's my story. We were sitting in a restaurant actually and my contractions were coming every one minute and they were like, well that means we're about to have a baby. And I was like, well, and then he was like, yeah, but no, and I'm like, yeah, but maybe. And then I was just like, I don't really want to be here anymore. And then he was like, okay, well, let's leave. And then we left and then we called and uh, she was like, okay, can you come in to the midwifery? So we did. She checked me, I was six to seven centimeters. And she was like, you're staying, lady. So then we went home, grabbed all our stuff, and now we're at the actual hospital. So it's been raining all day, but look what happened. A little bit of sunshine is coming out, just for Cache and Brinley. So uh, I'm wearing this t-shirt, it's a significant t-shirt. This is the t-shirt that I met her in. So I wanted to be the t-shirt that I met her in. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, I should curl my hair because I wanted my hair to be curled. <laughs> Just so afterwards I'll feel like really good about myself still, you know? And today I curled it. The other days I didn't curl it. You knew. Mother knows best. Mother knows best. All right, so here we are, chilling in the bathtub. And not wearing pants. Not wearing pants, so you're not going to see that. I'm wearing a bra. And I'm wearing these really cool wireless monitors for the baby. Now I'm just sitting here because I don't really know what to do. I'm kind of bored. So we're just taking a nice little lap. She offered to break my water. Which would speed things up really quickly. Especially so since I'm walk. since I'm already at like nine. Mm -hmm. That would basically be like, we're gonna have a baby in like an hour. Yeah. So basically we're just gonna take our time, hang out a little bit yeah. by ourselves. So we're gonna cut this short, but maybe next time I see you. We might have her. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You ever seen anyone dance? Not, not at nine centimeters. <laughs> like, what can, what can you say? For dear life at nine centimeters. Hey guys, so weird thing happened. Apparently both midwives that have checked me, like my cervix and how dilated it was, were actually touching the wrong thing. They were touching something they thought was my cervix. But turns out it wasn't, and they said that doesn't ever happen, or if it does, like it's very, very rare. So I'm actually only seven centimeters rather than nine. So obviously that was um, I put a little damper on my mood. We are about to start the Pitocin, which will hopefully start some more contractions, some regular contractions, some stronger ones. Yeah, I basically haven't progressed in the past um, five to six hours. Yeah, she's stuck at like seven centimeters. So, we're gonna kickstart it a little bit. Pitocin in Alright, here we go. 
go. You can do it. Big breath in. All right, guys. So we did it. She did it. <laughs> we got a little baby. And right now she's breastfeeding already. She's latched on pretty well. Yeah, we're gonna make sure she gets all my colostrum. So there she is. Look at her. Beautiful little girl. Beautiful mom. Healthy as could be. Guys, it was one of the most, no, the most insane, hands down experiences I've ever witnessed. And she did amazing. She totally, totally rocked it. This is like squishy cheeks. We couldn't be happier, guys. She is just beautiful. So in love. So in love. Already. Just instantly in love. Sweet love. Oh, sweet love. She doesn't like hers. Yeah. There we go. You gotta be able to suck on your fingers. Cause what's life without sucking on a little finger? She's hungry. So we're being discharged. And within 30 minutes of leaving, She's ready.